South Korea's top court has again upheld the lower court rulings that ordered Japanese firm to pay damages to plaintiffs who sued it over wartime labor. The Supreme Court on Thursday rejected appeal by the Nippon Steel and ordered the company to pay compensation to the bereaved family of the Korean individual who claimed to have been forced to work in a steel factory in Japan during the World War II. The lower court had ruled in the plaintiff's favor. Last month, the top court ordered three Japanese firms to pay compensation to the wartime labor in the five separate cases. Japan said, the any right to work claim are settled uh, completely finally uh, under an agreement when the two countries normalized ties in 1965. Japan Chief Cabinet Secretary Hayashi Yoshimasa said Japan lodged protest with the South Korean side over the uh, Thursday rulings. Hayashi said rulings uh, clearly run uh, counter to the agreement and uh, are extremely regrettable and totally unacceptable.